Hello, world. My mic sounds low. Okay, there we go. I see the meters. Looks like it's okay. Uh, yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna have all kinds of craziness going on up there. I'm thinking maybe like a full column of junk. I'm thinning here. Uh, how's everybody doing? Hopefully, good. I got everything set up here. Um, so I've been working over the past, I don't know, a couple of weeks. On a tool to automatically make music videos from NASA footage. And I think the first version is ready to go. Actually, I need to. Uh, set up frames per second. be consistent. Add notes on errors. I didn't think to do all this stuff before uh, before we started. Better debugging messages. Don't process if the file has zero duration. List over. Uh, oh, yeah, so great test for sizing down. Um, that's fine. These files are over a hundred. Uh, cancel. I'm probably gonna blow away a bunch of this, like this whole GitHub repo, because uh, there's a whole bunch of like fi uh, video files in here. Um, I'm just gonna leave this set for now. Uh, but so what we got is in this video assembler, uh, when you run it, and it takes a while to run on this machine, um, it goes. Oh, it only took two minutes. Um, I added output for that. Uh, that was only like an 18 second MP3 file. So it loops through a batch of MP3s, takes one, figures out the duration of it, goes and gets a NASA video from a list of like 5,000 NASA videos, takes a section of that and clips it out, looks at the scenes on there, figures out how long that is, and then subtracts that from the duration of the total length of the clip and adds that to a, a list. Rinse, repeat, you keep getting all these clips and this amount of time goes down and eventually you end up with a stack of videos that you can use to uh, reassemble uh, randomly to create a music video. So that's what this does. And it was surprisingly more complicated, well, not surprisingly, but surprisingly more complicated than one would have expected because it's like FFmpeg, network stuff, like, all kinds of stuff. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can get this. So it takes a while to run. So I want to do a couple tests. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do or CC2. I want to throw this up on an EC2 instance. Actually, I want to try it on two EC2 instances. Um, so we're going to fire up just a basic one. Surprised that that doesn't. Oh, there we go. I did have it banged down. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get that slightly smaller so I can see what's going on. Uh, instance details. I don't know if it's bad to show you all my VPC ID or not. Uh, we're gonna give it a public IP address. That's cool. All this stuff is cool. 
Uh, it's not going to have an IAM role. Because I'm just going to connect to it uh, externally. It's all cool. That storage is what we need. So I'm going to do 200 gig. T1 test box, V2, security groups, we'll do house access, which let me SSH into it. We can launch, it's gonna cost me some money, like pennies. Uh, yeah, so that's a key pair we wanna use. Launch log. Successful. Sweet. Yeah, I was messing around with one earlier, so it's still terminating or whatever. Uh, but so we should be able. EC2 user. Uh, oops, I gotta do. Give it the identity file. SSH Greenfield. And then EC2 dash user at that IP address. Oh. Crap. Public IP address. Somewhere in my security settings. Cause that's the IP address, right? Oh, wait, what? Connected that time. Maybe it wasn't all the way alive yet. Where am I? EC2 user. Okay. So now the question is, can I R sync to this? Dev video Hey, here we go. Get some gifts going. What's up, Velcro? Uh Rsync, I don't know if Rsync does Rsync over port twenty two? That was a lot of files. Video assembler, so EC2 user at that. Oh, I'm gonna have to do, what? Hanging in there. Doing good, trying to fire up some EC2 stuff. See if I, uh, see if I can get my little video launcher going, or my video maker going, it works. Locally, but it takes forever. So I'm gonna put up. Uh, I'm gonna put up on an EC2 instance, on a little one, and see how long it takes up there. I'm gonna put like buy like a you know, a huge one for like two dollars, um, and see how long that takes. Uh, why did that? That's kind of weird. Our sync port. Then I go over twenty two. No. Oh, that's listening. I can just SCP it. Yeah. That's... I'm doing like basically no setup. Um, though, oh, oh crap, actually I'm gonna have to install a bunch of crap. I just realized that. Which Python? Three, is that there? Hey, we got it. No, we don't. 
uh, what are these? Yum? Wait. Witch Python. Two seven. Okay, so sudo. I'm guessing yum. Are these yum boxes? Anybody know? Seems to work. So SCP. <sighs> Let's see. Touch, deploy, dot, bash. Deploy, bash. User bin. No, bin, bash. Bin, bash. So, SCP, I, SSH. I need to do one of these so I can auto complete it. SCP, I, uh, 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 SSH, Greenfield key. What am I doing? Um, video assembler to EC2 dash user at this IP address. Why is that failing silently? Give me some feedback. Crap. Why isn't that... Permission denied. Okay. EC2 user at. Okay. I. SSH. Green thing. Go. So that's there. That works. We understand this. This is good. Um, oops, let's see, by the way, Volker, how's it going on your side? Hanging in there? Life treating you all right? All right, so we passed the identity target first, source and target, so I thought. So that should be SCP. Identity file. Yeah, like 90% effective or something like that. I let everybody else go first um, and see when zombies start happening. Because hopefully, like, I'm pretty well bunkered down, so. I'm not super worried about it right now. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too crazy. Everybody else is waiting for everybody else to go. You go first. No, you go first. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, to see what happens. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe older people will get it first. Which is semi dangerous, I guess, but like they're most at risk. So I don't know. I, like I don't know where you do that math. Ah, uh, maybe that's what I needed.
That. Hey, okay, it needed a directory path. That's what's happening. So now if I come over here, hey, we see it. Okay. Um. Oh. What? Move. Video assembler. Oh. B4. End of video assembler. Okay. There's that. I probably have an application that I could set up to do this, but there's not that many files, I don't think. So we're going to want video. We don't need the tests. We do need MP3. Let's do this so we can see what's happening here. Put that there. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. And like also, because this is the this is really the first because like the few the few it's like the few the flu mutates every year right so and this thing's kind of a flu I mean it's separate right but your mutation point is it's terrifyingly on point I think um, and then yeah the, just the manufacturing aspect of it that's a good point I hadn't super thought all the way through that. Um, Keeps the fingers crossed. I, so we like with all the kind of spiking stuff. I, so I was, I'll admit I was going out a little bit, um, not too much, but to like open air bars or whatever. But I'm done with that for a little while. Invest in Pfizer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and just hope that it doesn't like kill everybody. But I guess if it kills everybody, then nobody will be around to have worry about things like money anymore. Uh, we need clip. Let's see if these all go. Oh, did it install? Oh, come on. Load plugins, could not retrieve mirror list. Oh, I didn't give it. Um, I gotta add a security group to it. I gotta bring that down one so I can see what's going on, maybe. Uh, actions, security, change security groups. Allow all outbound traffic at security group. Save. I've got it set up so that the security groups I add are either inbound or outbound. I don't know much about this stuff at all, by the way. Um, but that's what I'm trying. I've heard that that's not a bad way to do it. Beats me. Yeah, actually, that's exactly my reaction right now. All right, let's see if this goes. Hey, now we can talk outside. Yes, let's do that. Cool. Like a virtual environment.
this working? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, this is gonna explode, but I wanna see what happens. Oh, pip install requests. It's gonna be a bunch of these, probably. If I was smart, I would script this, because I gotta do the same thing on another box. But, whatever. Oops, already got it. Uh, okay, this is cool. Um, actually, I'm not gonna mess with anything. Make dir test data v4. Make dir should have done p. Oh well. URL list. Oh, cool. How's the free code camp ones? I've heard about it, but I've never actually uh, never actually tried one. Is it good? I'll give you a circuit man. Nice. It's been years since I've done CSS for real. Um, it, I don't totally like SCSS and all that stuff. I don't. I haven't jumped into it yet. HTML and CSS. That's cool. Yeah. My skills are so rusty. You don't do the SCSS stuff either. Okay, yeah. Uh, my website, I use a software called Hugo to run it, um, and it has SCSS stuff in there. So I've had to learn just a, just enough to figure out where to change things. But like basically, all I'm doing is looking at stuff that's already there and then poking at it. So there's nothing nothing specific about it. See if this goes. Okay to go. That went cool. Yeah, and like I wouldn't use SCSS other than that happens to be what my browser has, or what my uh, website stuff uses. So, and it does all the stuff. When I deploy the site, it just magically takes care of everything. I don't. I never had to set anything up or do anything like that. Oh, there's no mp3 files yet. Okay, oh, so it's kind of working. Ha! Kind of surprised. I mean, I'm totally not surprised. A little surprised. So what do we need? We need some mp3 files, right? Okay, let's make the directories we're gonna need.
output. I can't remember if the script makes these or not, so I don't want it to freak out. Video storage. MP3s. Okay, so now... Test data before MP3s, short MP3s. So let's get that one. Can you send commands across with just a single command at SSH? Send remote commands via SSH. That sounds likely. Oh, so you just throw... Well, that's super cool and helpful. Works going pretty good. Um, it's I've kind of got an interesting crossover right now where I'm doing some EC2 stuff at the office too, so it's like... EC2 is on my brain right now, which is actually a good reason for me to kind of be in here a little bit to try and like get those skills in. Um, but I mean, it's work, but I still I very much prefer working from home. So at some point we're gonna have to get back on the office, but maybe not all the way back on the office. And I'm really hoping that's the case because I, I get so much more crap done at home and it's so much like better for my brain. It's uh, it's the way to go, as far as I'm concerned. Totally. Okay, so this is cool. So we can actually just send, like, make dirt commands this way. Right. So if I, yeah, let's try this. I want to see if this works. Under MP3. Yes. So it's not there. We're going to make it be there. Um, make there. Video assembler. Test data v4. Whoops. Test data v4. MP3s, is that where it is? It's just right up there. Uh, make their P probably, that's what we want. That's data, PWD, PWD, sorry, PWD. Video assembler, test data before, right. So if this works, that's gonna be awesome. That's the wrong place to send that. Let's try it over here. And now, hey, oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, I I mean, I still got to get out and like see sunlight and also like I get to see people occasionally. Um but like yeah, I wouldn't I, I don't want to do it all the time. Like I, I think the best thing would be like 3 days fully remote and then ideally like three, 2 or 3 days fully remote and then the other days like working remote from the from the morning and then going in and seeing people in the afternoon or sometimes full, you know full days in the office depending on how the meetings go. Um, I'm going to try and do two or three days remote. Um, it really just amounts to meetings um, and how 
crazy those go and how if I need to be there or not. Like if we're doing like whiteboarding sessions or whatever, it's like Zoom doesn't really get you through that. Um, at least it hasn't yet. I don't know. I was thinking about like trying to like hook up my iPad with like one of those pens on it or whatever or pencils, whatever they call them, and seeing about like having like doing a projection or like a screen share, I guess, but through the iPad um, to see about like if that can help you with whiteboarding stuff. Uh, like it, it, that's still just not a solved problem yet. It's also funny for me because like on a conference call of like 10 people, only two people turn their cameras on. It's just like, I agree with that. And like, so I stream, right? But I don't turn my tam camera on when I'm in doing corporate meetings. Explain that. <laughs> Mainly, uh, unofficially, I mean, I'm not saying it's because I sometimes drift off and do other things when meetings are going on, but that could be part of it. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, I like it when other people have it on so I can see them and, like, I can kind of get it, but, like, not for me. It's, yeah, it is super weird. Um, and, like, I'm glad, you know, I, I'm guessing that there's some, some corporate cultures where everybody's, like, you have to have your camera on. Um, but like, I don't like that. And that's not the way we are. So, and it's kind of funny for me that after, you know, whatever, half a year of this, with most people not turning their cameras on, some people still do. Like I would have thought months and months into this, that those people who originally had their cameras on would have just been like, ah, screw this, but still doing it. So more power to them. Uh, let's do... I'm gonna mess myself up here if I'm not careful. Let's just do this for now. I really should have this as a different file, but we're not there yet. Nope, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna do this. And then we need to send a mp3 file over. Can you do like start on mp3s? Start on mp3? Does this work here? Into mp3s. No idea if this works. Nope. MP3s is a directory. Aha, that's because we want to do test data. Test data v4. All right, one more time. Does this work? Sweet. Oh, sweet. Good luck. Oh, it's something you really don't want to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, then? I don't know what the proper response is to that. I Maybe, all right, here we go. You're going to do the interview, you're going to get the gig, and then it's going to turn into something that you like. How about that? Is that a good, good approach? Let's aim for that. I think it's a solid way to go. All right, do I have enough files up here to actually try this? See what happens. Nope. Oh, I don't have the XF tool. Uh oh. I don't think this is a standard package. Nothing to do. Ah. Uh... Installing EXIF tool. I think I'm just gonna have to do from source.
Oh, it's a profile. Okay. All right, so we're going to see if we can do this remotely. <laughs> well, hey. Yeah. Is it at least in a place where it's like foot in the door stuff? If, if that's not what you want to do full time, is it get you kind of like crawled into somewhere? profile types. Yes, it does lots of amazing stuff. Where is the download version? Cancel. Is this what I'm looking for? That's it. Copy link. so cool if it works. Uh, did that work? Is this really how you can do this stuff? Look at that. Sweet. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of one of those people, like, if you're in there doing classes and messing around with it, that's you're in pretty good shape. Um, it just, it's practice, right? Uh, and digging through it. The, I wish I had like, just do that. Like, wouldn't it be cool if there's like, if you do this, then you do this and this, you do this. But like the, the only thing that I know about it is just like practice, keep doing it and keep figuring out. Like for me, the, the big thing that worked for me was finding stuff just to tinker around with and then doing it and then figuring that stuff out. I mean, it's like what I'm doing here, right? So, hey, I want to make music videos out of NASA videos. Okay, let me just dig in and try and figure out how to do that. So that's that's kind of the best thing I would say for if you're wanting to do back end or a CSS, I guess, is just doing a bunch of it, right? <laughs> I can't help you with CSS. <laughs> that is not my strong suit. Um... But yeah, it's it's a different like I I don't know, I keep thinking that the world's gonna be a different place before long with all this remote stuff and the COVID stuff. And like the way the education system's working now a little bit. Like I think it's all like I think we're in a place for a shake up and one of my buddies who is still on here sometimes, Steve's kinda of thinking the same thing. So it's I think it's gonna increasingly be about what you can do, like and less about credentials. So if you get a credential, cool, but the real trick is like what what can you do underneath it all right so i'm gonna try and just do this i really really which, I mean, I kind of guess I knew this at some point, but I've never really thought about, because I know that there's like Puppet and Chef and all this thing. Oh, oh, but that may not have done. Yeah, there it is. Like Puppet and Chef and all those things. And I knew that some of them, I can't remember which one, but we talked about how it just used shell commands basically to, to do stuff. And that's, I mean, that kind of has to be what it is when you're talking to stuff, right? It has to have some type of communication back and forth. Just go over SSH and do shell commands. Like, that's kind of mind-blowing to me, even though I kind of knew it, and it's also kind of obvious after you think about it, but, like, it still kind of blows my mind. And especially with this, right? Because I'm just going to... So I, I want to repeat this on a different machine, 
But if I build this script right, I can just run this script and it, with a different IP address and it'll just go. So I got that. Now the question is, does it maintain state? I'll bet it does. I'm assuming semicolons are what I'm going to want here. I guess you could use um, the double and, which I think only continues if the first thing succeeds. Okay, it went into it at least. I should move. So Perl make file PL. Oh, can't load. Uh, okay, so we got to do CPAN. Uh. C pan, C pan, whoops. Meta C pan. So I don't want to do the interaction. I just want to go. I need to do it from the command line. Tall C pan modules from the command line. All the same pages. Oh, okay. So Before we do that, we need to do something else. sudo yum install cpan. Uh, I just looked at one of these, but we'll find it in a sec. Solve project modules. It's been so long since I've done Pearl. Pearl dash pan, I'm guessing. Song. Oh, here we go. This is what it was looking for. Xutils make maker, maker, make maker. Yeah, make maker. Doo -doo. 
Doo -doo -doo. Installing for dependencies, updating for dependencies, nice, okay. I'm assuming it's doing something in the background. Concerns me. Uh, grab I the event. Thanks, it's working. Is this okay? That's what I thought. Uh, do you dash Y for yum? This is actually kind of exciting. I'm digging this. Like, especially because I have to do this again, but I can just like throw the script at it and execute it and be done. Which I guess I should go ahead and make the other directories that we need. So we're just gonna make the top one to start with, that's fine. Set of MP3s. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna do. I do want to just do this. It's fine. Video assembler. Yeah, that's super cool. Boom, it's there. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong. Holy crap, it's working. Ooh, and I threw the full, yeah, this is gonna, well, this is going to take a minute. Because I threw the full five. Ah, oh, exploded. when it was calling the page. Save web file via temp. Build videos, build video, download the clip, save it. Here's the request to timeout to 45 seconds.
Where does that save to you? Because this still works, right? Oh, I wonder. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Gil. Oh, what's this EC2? What the hell is that? That's weird. Goodbye. Uh, hang on a second. I may know what happened. I was messing with some stuff. And it's possible. All right, what happens if we run this now? Does this one pass? Why does that other one pass? It doesn't make any sense. Try it again. The Amazon network, I'm assuming, should be much faster than mine. Crashes. Memory error. Oh, crap. Okay. This box only has like one gig of RAM on it. Memory error. Okay. It says it right there. So this box goes bye-bye. But the cool thing is... Hey, might as well. Uh, is I going to run me out of memory? Maybe. Who knows? Um... This is the cool part about this, right? Is I like I'm just get to experiment with a little bit and figure some more stuff out. So launch instances. Select. Let's see, why don't they have the prices up here? See, I want to find something that doesn't have. Just a whole lot of stuff, because I want to get one that's okay. Wait, which is the memory and the CPUs? CPUs and memory. Those are going the other ways. Uh, actually, wait, maybe not. Oh yeah, there's memory. <sighs> Just not good, Amazon. M6. No. M5A, who the hell knows? M5AD, who the hell knows? So that's the M's. C is for compute, right? Eight and 16. M is eight and 32. Ooh, M2. Look at that, eight and 64 gig. Night performance high. Be super nice if I had the prices on here.
M42XL. I got a, I sent a note over to the um, pricing calculator folks and they sent me something that actually sent me something back and asked questions. It's kind of cool. It's weird that M4 comes after M5s, but whatever. 40 cents an hour. Okay, whatever. Wait, what's the 26? What is that column? ECU. What the hell is an ECU? Literally not on the page. for 2 XL. I just make sure there's not something super crazy with that, right? Move this over here. M42 XL, 40 cents an hour. Okay. It's got 26 of whatever these things are, so that's awesome. Put your instance details. I think that's all good. I think I just need to put some memory on it some disk on it. IOPS. Baseline of three IOPS per gigabit minimum. That's probably fine. shows up in billing. actually do a real mp3 file instead of just a test one. It's the shortest of them. 3.4 meg. 3 .4, there we go. That's going to be the winner. Running. An address for me. Oops. Get him. 
Oh, I guess I can make that slightly bigger. actually get you know I should move those into the terminal someday maybe like my other terminal app whatever the video launcher whatever video assembler whatever it's called <laughs> all right it's so cool like I'm paying 40 cents for this box, so if I explode it, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Shit. Go Magic Sea Pan. Moving the files. That's pretty slick. I needed to do Python, right? Yeah, so... <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty awful. I thought they were okay, or at least I think they're okay in wind noise. I think they're doing a good job with wind noise, don't they? You were on the receiving end of it. Yeah, so not like for calls, for like a video. I'm <clears throat> I'm with you. Yeah, not like just sitting there chatting on the phone. Or chatting. Whatever. I guess, do people still really chat on the phone? I don't know. Yeah, not, not for a presentation video. No. No, 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 no. It's actually one of the things I kind of worked on first was getting some decent audio set up for this. Do you install Python three? Dev. We don't have to be. In, whoops. Dev video assembler. Video assembler. Don't have to be there for this, but just to do it. Oops. Didn't do yes. I think these are the same ones I've had. Um, well, I've got two. So I either use just like the old wired Apple ones, um, or these are some nice ones I got a few years back. B and O. I don't remember the model number. I don't think it's anywhere on here. Um, I read a review somewhere, and they're like, "These are good ones to get if you wear them all day." So I got them, um, but they're pretty slick. 
Um, they sound really good. It's uh, it's still weird for me though to hear my voice in them. I've gotten mostly used to that, but every now and then it catches me off, and it's just like, is that really what I sound like? Um, but yeah, I go back and forth between this, and like sometimes I like not having something completely over my ears, but the only in-ear headphones I have are the little Apple ones, which are fine. Um, they, oh no, I've, I've got some of the Bose noise canceling ones too, which are really good for like plane rides and stuff. But like one of the speakers is starting to short just a little bit, which sucks because those are expensive. Um, and it's not, I don't think it's quite worth buying them again because I don't travel anymore. Uh, invalid option, why? Oh, pseudo, yeah, yeah, whoops, got it. Got them after yum. But yeah, I, I really, I did like those, those Bose ones and I started to use them a little bit cause there was, uh, my neighbor was like pressure washing, pressure washing. And like that just uh, drone constantly just drives me up the wall. So I put those things in and they were great, except that it started to like hum because one of the speakers was shorting. I was just like, oh. but it's not worth, I think this thing's like 200 bucks. I've had them for like, I've had them for years. So like I've got my money out of them, but still. So the crazy thing about this, right, is I could run, you could actually run the full thing remotely. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing anyways, because I'm SSH'd in, but like, yeah, so I can go ahead and build build a virtual environment, right? No reason not to. So we're gonna CD into a directory. Then we're gonna run Python 3 module virtual environment, virtual environment. Like that's gonna work, right? Possibly it worked. There it is. So that means I can go from start to finish just by running that script. And then all I gotta do is log in and run it. And I could just, you know what I could do? Wait, wait, I mean, we could just run it, right? Cause it's gonna give us feedback. So that copies everything up. So if we CD into the directory, run source VNV bin activate, chmod user plus execute the file. which we really don't have to do if we're gonna do this, but. Oh, wait, 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 hang on, we gotta install. This is so cool, right? Cause I like, I'm not worried about at all about this box. Like I'm doing all this crazy stuff and just like, eh, whatever. I feel like I had to install a module. Ah, you gotta install requests. pip install requests yeah you just got to remember every time that you're starting from scratch
Oh. I, I got you. <laughs> I think Bert is a good word to call it if it's fried. Bert. To a friend whose dog's named Bert. I call him Fuzzball. I like my name better. Yeah, never, never got on the smoking train. It's not my thing. Occasionally, but not really. Uh, Python video assembly v4. So the module request module. Run it. I call. I used to drink a fair amount. Um, I don't really drink anymore. I'm on some meds that just make it like not appealing to me for whatever reason. Like I just don't care about it, which is kind of weird. It's also weird to like go to bars and not drink. Like I'm not like against it against it, or like I'm not opposed to it. Like I'll maybe I'll have one every now and then, but like it's not a thing right now. Um, but it's really weird to be at bars, especially because it's like bartender's like, "What do you want?" And I'm like. Water? Like, sure, here you go. Which, I mean, I guess they have people get water all the time, but that wasn't a thing that I normally ordered. But yes, I've had many, uh, many good alcohol nights. All right, let's see what happens. Nothing. That's kind of a bummer. Anticlimactic. Climatic. Climactic. I don't know what that word is. How about you? Drinking? Do you like drinking? Are you a drinking fan? Oh my god, I killed it, I guess. What's going on? <laughs> Tobacco. Uh, yeah, never, just never really smoked. I played in a band in college, and I would breathe enough secondhand smoke to have smoked, but was never, uh, never directly going. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the. Uh, I didn't actually drink, I don't think, until I was of legal age, which is not standard around where I grew up. I just wasn't. I wasn't interested. I wasn't that interested in it when I was younger, <laughs> and I got really interested in it, and now I'm not that interested anymore. So who knows? Maybe it's cyclical, or wave, or something. Yeah, I can see that, because I've heard that like in different, um, like in different countries, where like. They let kids have alcohol a little bit, it's like growing up at the kitchen table or at the dining room table or whatever. They're less like crazy about it. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Also, I just noticed that we have red, white, and blue going on here. It's very patriotic, this terminal. Um, oh, it wasn't in the virtual environment, maybe? Oh, yeah, it was. Why didn't it go? Mm, it's working now. Or it's working there. I don't know why it didn't go over here. Oh, maybe it's a buffer thing. Oh, I'll bet it doesn't send stuff back. I bet it's just sitting there buffered. That's why we didn't see anything. And that's probably exactly what that was. Uh... Oh, actually, you know what we should do? We're gonna launch one more instance. We're gonna get a big old box. 
compute optimized. <laughs> 72 CPUs, jeez, 96. Uh, we're gonna do it. I don't know what these. I still don't know what the difference between these EV the these things are. But like, I don't know. We're gonna get the big box. It's four bucks. Just don't leave it running. Forget it for a few days, and it's like here's a thousand dollars. Oh, FFmpeg's not found. Oh, ho, ho, crap. Does that work? Oh, crap. I love the internet. Okay, we can just do a static build. That's cool. I got no problem with this. Wait, I don't need to go in there. It's how I usually create an FMA directory. I should be able to do that as user. Download a static build. Go to the following link and download a static build relevant for your system. Oh. Uh, that's a little shady. It's probably cool though. trustable and it's on a throwaway box so to finally 
current build version of John's site, click build info. Like at the release page at the top of the text file, you will see the current version of the build. Replace but with the current set version. Check if your system is 32. Yeah, so it's gonna be 64, almost certainly. You name? You what is it? Yeah, you name. Sixty-four. work. I'll bet. Release. What's the difference between this one and this one? Can you go, yeah, you can probably go into sudo. Right, can't you? Oh, wait, you can. Let's just try this. Waiting for them? No. Thinks it's working. Something's wrong. Permission denied. Pseudo bang bang. Yeah, that's what I thought. Something was wrong. So you can't do pseudo there, which makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. So we're gonna make the directory. Pseudo wget that and then wget output dash o Be 
we get file? We get file. Downloads. Got it. Okay, so you can get into the directory, so that's cool. So we don't have to deal with that. So change in the directory, then run tar. Oops, do that, do it over here. here. Go. Oh. First CD, then sudo. Sudo CD is not really a thing, I don't think. That. We did a thing. create a folder in that, go inside and check if FFN has been successfully installed or not. Oh, only one V, or only one dash, oops. Sweet. Oh, I also need... Oh, got another one. Shit. Wait, get a drink. I'll be back.
All right. Liar. What? Oh, <laughs> I said drink. Drink. Also, I probably should drink water. I got water. It's, sadly, I have water over here, but I went and got a Sprite, so that's less, less what I should be doing, but cheers. I like the bubbly. But I just also grabbed a handful of uh, nuts, and so, like, my mouth is also super salty right now. Ooh. Yee. So I did drink some water, but now I'm going to drink more water. Because I have only seen people have kidney stones, and they were miserable. So, are they, they're as bad as they sound, right? First part of the event is where the file's located after I'm tarred it. The second part is where I want someone to go. That's it. Yep, okay. My dad had them once, and it was same thing. He just went like gray. Looked awful. Uh, I shall pass on that. Thank you very much. Have you only had them the once? Because I know sometimes people get them once. Sometimes get them twice or whatever. Have you, have you been avoided that? backwards um right so where you want to go so where you are where you want to go i don't know why i can never remember that Sweet, worked. Well, I guess that's a plus side if it wasn't, <laughs> if you didn't go to the ER, at least. Sorry, killed the mic. Yeah, that's no good. So are you now religious about water or are you still less good so? And do you drink as much Coke? I used to drink Mountain Dew all the time. That was my go-to. Oh, man page just didn't get installed. That's weird. Oh, well. Oh, because we didn't do a full install.
Yep. I'm gonna make a guess that you're not from the south. Because you just said soda instead of Coke. Is that an accurate guess? Or an accurate tell? Alright, so we got FFmpeg installed. Now we need FFmpeg concat. I forgot about these. Yeah, right, okay, so it's where you're raised. Like, born, eh, whatever. But, like, where you're raised, right? That's where you get your language from. Unless you were born there until you're, like, 16. And then have only been in the Massachusetts for the past few years. Oh. Uh, this module requires NPM. So I got to install NPM. Okay, again, whatever. Which I think is just node, right? Get NPM. Install node. Seventeen years and counting in Massachusetts, right? Got a buddy who's from up there. She's pretty diehard. It's funny because she's been down here for a while, but she gets into it a little, has a couple drinks, and her accent comes out. She's also ready to fight just about anybody. It's all right down here. Well, if you paid it up there, then that would be a good reason to move down south. Uh, curl, run it. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely warmer. I'll give you that. So that's FFmpeg. Install node. Oh, I don't know how this works. Let's see if this works. I don't think that works with a pipe. We'll see what happens. Slow zoom VM bash completion. Oh shit, it worked. How it worked moving down here or just in general moving? It's all, for me, it was all about the gig. I think for most people, it's all about the gig. Um, I I went where the job was. I know a lot of people, most people I know do that. Um, so I guess if you can start out, like I wasn't looking for a particular job, so I found one and then went to it. Um, I know some people try and find jobs in different places, but that is not a thing that I did. Heh <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, uh, oh, there you go. Thinking. It's perfect. Yeah, no, it's everything about that whole job situation is fraught. Like, but I think by and large, if you get it, like, you can control the stuff you can control and you can't control the stuff you can't control. So if you get in and do good and don't be an asshole, that gives you the best chance of everything being okay. Hopefully you don't end up in a job you don't dig. Just about every job though is work, right? So it's not like always just great, but it's like I've seen people who've been in gigs that just they can't stand them. 
and that's a whole nother level, but that's super rare. Um, so I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. It can happen, but it, I haven't seen it very much. So hopefully it doesn't happen very much. Activate and move on top of my flying command. So we do that. And then we do this. Is that going to install node for us? Okay. That yeah, worked. It's fair. Try not to work for free, but like if that's the only way to do it, that's fine. Um, I mean, like an internship is is one of the places where I think that makes sense, um, but it can be okay to work for free for stuff, but just be wary of it because like it's easy to get taken advantage of that and then end up really being in a like having bad experiences, which get in your head. Basically, it makes it like less fun, I guess, if you're doing dev stuff. But like working on your own stuff for free, 100%. But like working for other people for free, unless it's like an actual like structured intern, I would that those kind of freak me out. Where is our this? So now we do this. Do this, and do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Oops, wrong. That. I'm in the wrong place. Let's try it over here. Got a feeling and wait. Oh, no, no, no. It's doing okay. I went too fast. Ooh, did not like that though. All kinds of badness happened. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, okay. That's there's a line there. I guess is the trick for me. Um, the that's that's where like the the ideal is like if you can find an internship or whatever and have like people helping you and find mentorship and all that other stuff um, or mentorship in general um, is, is a pretty solid way to do it. But it, yeah, it's, you gotta be wary of people's expectations of you too. If you're new at stuff, because sometimes they're like, ah, oh, you know, just build a website for me. And it's like, well, there's, there's a little bit more to it than that. If you're, I mean, you can just make a WordPress site. Sure. But like, like build a website, different thing. Deprecated hard validators, library supported string. Okay, and now we're gonna Google the error message. I need another window, because I'm running out of room to see where the tabs are. Oh, do you have to do like an NVM update? No, I just installed it. OK. 
Command is regression. What? How do you update NPM? Update NPM, whatever that. Update hard out there. Right. Uh, so I think, by the way, I think what you're doing right now, you're going through the, the coding stuff, the, um, the training stuff has some of that value if you like go all the way through them and do a bunch of them um but as for like a straight up mentorship like that's <laughs> it is a tricky thing to find um uh i did not have one and i wish i had like but i mean you also you'll just bang your head against stuff is, is what it amounts to it just take it just takes you longer to figure stuff out um is kind of my take on it um but like it would be super nice to have to not do that um so th but again go back like try for internships like talk to anybody you can about anything you can and be like hey you know i'm so again f working for somebody like as a company for free as like an internship that's different than like if somebody comes to you who's not really like a developer not really a company or whatever and just like ha asking you to do something Right, that's that's where I'd split those things. But yeah, uh, I I don't know. I think they got to be out there somewhere. I would hope. How do you do npm update? But I mean, I just installed it, literally. Oh crap. Wait, so this might be deprecated pad start. What? Oh my god, this blows me away. Left pad is deprecated. Error code one path. No, 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 module GL. Command failed. JIP info. It worked if it ends with OK. Not okay. Complete log of this command. We found it there. Okay. Uh, except there's not anything there. Where you said it was going to be. Um, crap. Is there anything in there? Nope. Uh. So these are just warnings. Okay, that's fine. But error code one, path, blah, 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 FFmpeg node modules, GL. I'm gonna try to stall this straight from. It's gonna be a bummer if I can't actually run this on an instance after all that time. Hadn't been updated in months, and that warning is from a couple days ago. That is not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. <clears throat> Error code one path, all that command failed.
It's a directory. Okay, so there's stuff in there. That's a good sign. Maybe. Path. Okay, so that's probably where it goes. Command. Spawn args. Package X11 was not found on the package search path. Perhaps you should add the directory containing X11 PC to path config. Okay, so that's what we think is going on. Surely that's not this. Last published three years ago. There's no way that's it. Aha. We need make libraries. I only know the theory behind blockchain stuff in terms of like the the public ledger and the verification stuff and how you you do the math to do I don't know the math but like the the whole idea of the transactions and always being able to confirm the transactions based off the global mess of it um but as for like really about it not so much um the and, and I tell you like the other one too that's just nuts is like if you look at all the stuff that Amazon has now like if you just go through their services um, like you can just kind of burn down like satellite stuff like AR VR like I, you could like you could spend a lifetime just digging into like a third of the Amazon services. Oh, they got some blockchain stuff. There you go. Want to look at block blockchain? They've got their managed blockchain and the Quantum Ledger database. Whatever that is, sounds awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm all over on this stuff, but like what I'm trying to do now is kind of focus down and really get some kind of fundamental stuff going. Um, so like I'm working on Python, I'm working on testing and I'm working on this Django stuff. And then also I'm doing all this stuff for the videos or whatever, but that's, it's like a specific project. Um, but the thing that I'm starting to do now again too, is like, uh, oh yeah. So one of the best things I've done that I used to do that I'm getting back into now is reading a chapter in a book every single day. So like, Blogs are fine, searching, searching web is fine, videos are fine, but like having a continual narrative um, from one author about a single subject is hard to beat. Um, so I'm gonna spend it a little bit of time every day making at least one chapter of a code book or of some type of book um, in terms of tech to do it. So that would be something that I'm getting back into that I, that I really find helpful. Um, I've had, I found I found very helpful in the past, and uh, I'm about to try it again and see how it goes. But I'm sure it's good because it's like something about it. Just I mean, it's a good way to learn. Kind of weird because it feels slower in some ways than videos or books or whatever. But like it it sinks into my head a little bit more. All right, let's see if this helps. Wah -wah. Hmm. 
No packages, X11. Oh, dev. I'm betting that's it, though. That's going to be it. EC2 X11 Dev. Nope, that's not what we want. It's a development library. I mean, it has to be. Uh, and it's there because I'm missing, someone please help me install the missing libraries. I'm locked in to be a putty. Thank you for your help in advance. Entertaining stream ever, figuring out how to install software. Ooh, look at that. X11 comment. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, let's try to run it again. Wrong field. Wrong field. Wrong field. Okay, deprecated is one thing. Package was not found. Come on, we just did it. Excellent required VS Code to build and run. You have to figure out how to bring it to your MVM. Great, thanks for that. Can, oh, you can use apt? I'm sorry, this is what I tried, but. I don't think those X11s are in. X11s are the graphic stuff.
And those EC2s don't have them, I don't think. Six, not helpful. Oh, come on. We're so close. Closing as there is no response. Here I suggest that the command blah de blah de blah does not run correctly. Please clear your Docker cache so that all commands will get executed. Come on! This sucks. Interesting. Okay. So we can see. Yeah. So this is going to be all the packages that are available. Was it libx? Ah, look at that. Libx11. Wait a minute. Oh, but not div. Dev. Or X11. No idea what the difference is. No dash del directories. Okay. Um. Crap. It was such a good idea. I've now paid. 80 cents for this AIM machine. Eleven forwarding. Maybe if I just do libx eleven, could it be that simple?
Already installed. Crap. So, shit. Make sure it's not. Nope. Um. Change repo. Get away. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, uh, well, whatever. This sucks. Additional repositories. This page is broken. This page is probably broken too. Yep. To define a new repository, you can either add repository section in the yum. Or add a .repo file in the yum resos. All files with .repo extension and it's directed right by yum and it's recommended to define your repositories here instead of yum. Okay, cool, gotcha, whatever. Repository. Coming for the own repo. Oh, you know what I could do? I'll bet. Uh, where's EC2? Instead of hacking this, I might be able to just do like a CentOS install. these cost anything. I mean, Ubuntu shouldn't. Ubuntu, whatever. We're going to do an Ubuntu box. How about 20 long-term support? What do we do? An M? Something. 832 M4 2XL. Sure. 200 gig. Large Ubuntu, whatever. Ubuntu Security Group Outbound Traffic's fine, House Access is fine. We got the key pair. Good news is all that was scripted. So hopefully we're just gonna murder this box. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Terminate, terminate.
And what might be cool... Okay, so we're gonna get... We're gonna stop with all this stuff to start with. So we're gonna install Python. Actually, I'm not even sure what we need to do. I bet it's called Ubuntu now. Yep. Okay. Python 3, it's already there. CPAN, which is like CPAN. Wait, why do we have to install CPAN if we just did? I feel like this is a rabbit hole I went down already. It's the rabbit holes. Nope, there's no giving up. There's no giving up. I don't know, my take on this stuff is like, it's cool, because like once you solve something once, you've got it. I can't remember what it was, but like Yeah, no, it's not Pearl MC pan install Pearl M M C pan install <laughs> it's the principle of the thing. Worth has nothing to do with it at this point. It's stubbornness.
I can't let the computer win. I must defeat it. I was supposed to get manual settings here, but all right. There's a way to do this. Uh oh. There we go. What came up there? What was that? Oh. The LC just decided to show back up. Weird. Pearl M C Pan install. Some basics. I feel like I've been here before. CPAN M module saw others easier. The link is later. Don't tell me it's that simple. this even though I will n probably never do it again in my life Does that just work? It keeps wanting to do that though. I can go through it, but I want to not have to deal with that. Roll auto setup CPAN. Automate CPAN and install modules non interactively from the beginning. There we go. Just looking for a solution as well and found this works. Echo Y, Echo O, Conf prerequisites policy follow. Echo O conf commit. Just let it post you until something comes along. It's all great. I'm just trying to see possible ways to do it here. See, that's from 2010. I'm not really going to trust that one. This is from Make not okay, so we don't have make. Oh, God. 
So the other trick with this is I have 1,500 songs plus that I want to automate this stuff off of. So, like, it's kind of worth it to me to put in some effort here. Make essential tool for build. Please make make this involved. So we got to install make. I don't remember the dev tools. Build essentials, that's what it is. Fetch. Oh, maybe run app get update or try fix missing. Okay. My code's working. Why isn't I, the server doing the server thing? denied. Oh, pseudo. Dun dun dun. All right. platforms download from home page unpack can't we just do it from cpan that was the whole point in doing cpan a minute ago
You want to see some craziness looking to uh, EXIF tool and all the stuff that it does. Now is this just, is this how this works? Ha, huh, okay, so that's how you install. You have to be sudo to install. I don't know why it does all that work only to tell you that at the end. It seems like maybe they should tell you that up front or do a little check up front. Oh, come on. I gotta make that go away. I guess you could just, <laughs> I guess I could just copy it. Was this last touched? Oh, great. App Store is telling me it couldn't complete my purchase. It's not happy. See, 2018 was the last time it was touched. Ah, it just makes me nervous. to take the CPM config, create it after one run from the system and install it. Another way is to run the following to create a config for you. One thing missing below is the actual value is the URL list. Yeah, so, all right, let's just run it once. Assembler. My config dot pm. So the question is why that's coming in as Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever the hell you call it.
Oh, it's going to be as the root, as roots. Root cpan config file. Path. Where do you put it? It's just root. I don't think there's a password, is there? I mean, I have one set. So that's how you do it. This is ridiculous. I am being ridiculous. So drop in the config files. So CPAN. Run automatically, hopefully. All right, so where do we have a file path copy here? Let's take one of these. Where's my SCPs? There we go. Ooh, missed all this stuff down here. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to move it in and then copy it. Copy it.
Oh, bad, 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 bad. Root, C pan, C pan, right? if we run this it'll just do it that was a lot Install okay, all right. All right, so we don't need that to auto configure CPAM. We've got a copy now. We can drop those. If it's worth $100 per coin, how much was it worth? Because if it was $0 or $1, awesome. If it was $10,000 and now it's $100, less good. Okay, so I've got Python, I've got EXIF tool, I need FFmpeg now. Hopefully it's just in Ubuntu. Please just be there. Apt update, apt install, look at that. for me it's doing a bunch of stuff oh wow nice I hope you have many of them I hope you can retire soon and then give your favorite streamer a million dollars. Why not? Um, I don't know, five an hour. 
if you add it up for a little while, I don't know. That's a intriguing number. I am. I don't want to make a guess because I'm going to feel like I'm going to be super foolish whichever way I go. Uh, 100. Also, I'm going to feel bad if I if you have like three and I'm going to say, oh, you got 100. And they're like. All right, FFM peg went. It's all that. That's the virtual environment. We don't need that yet. EXIF tool, we don't need that. FFM peg we got. Those don't exist. Seven. <laughs> Love it. Seven hundred bucks, man. That's no joke. I ain't nothing to sneeze at. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a hell of a good find. That's uh it's like two more pairs of headphones for you, three more pairs of headphones for you, right? All right. So install Oh wait, I should actually see, that's what I should see. Ubuntu node 20, install. I understand. Pseudo app. Package in the processor is you need. This is all you need to do with Node.js in most cases. You also run some npm. Yeah, I really only need an npm. <sighs> that Amazon stuff, like I am not interested in running one of their boxes again ever at this point. Good lord. So that gets me back to where I was when I tried to run this command. Still getting those deprecation warnings, but that's okay. It was all the other crap that blew up that was the problem. Like that. Oh, permission denied. So probably pseudo, right? Awesome. 
It uh, exploded. Let's get out of there and come back in. It is raining very hard right now. Uh, okay, so let me... So that all is going. That's cool. Make the directories, build the virtual environment. Here, we'll just try these a futile time. Wrong. environment. Virtual nine cracks. Okay. We'll do that. said yes. I did not say yes. Try that again. There we go. I really want to get this done so I can at least run one and see if it works. Fimpeg we got. No to VMF car we got. We think deploy the files. Sweet. That is not helpful. Actually, what I want to do at this point, because it got later than it was supposed to, is back that out and only send a small sample file. This is my URL list. That'll be fine for right now. Where's my URL list? URL list, URL list, JSON. Okay, that's fine. Oh, gotcha. Whoops. 
test data, MP3s, get rid of that one. So those all moved. All right, what else is left to do? Oh, we gotta install requests. Which we should have done up here, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we uh, we install the virtual, or you gotta switch to the virtual environment every time. That's cool, no problem there. That's so cool. Ooh, that tries to run it. Let's run it from over here first. Ah, okay. Something's doing it. Hey, it's 420 when it started. All right, great. Oh, no, not not yet. Once I, well, I am at some point. Oh, okay. So that pulled it. Scene detect isn't found. Fuck. Pardon my French. Can I just, is this just a straight pip install? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Cool. I knew there was one, I knew there was something else out there. You can probably install two at the same time, but whatever. All right, take 47. Oh yeah, when I've already downloaded the files, it goes faster. Scene detect is not found. What? Hang on, let me jump back in. Some of these videos are like an hour and a half long, of which I grab eight seconds, which is ridiculous, but welcome to randomness. I should take the longer ones out of my test frame, though. That would be smarter. Like this one, for example, I think is two hours long. Their network would be faster than that. Uh, maybe NASA's network that's slowing it down. I don't know how quick their uh, their response time is on stuff. Because I think this box has a decent ne network connection. I 
have not. The age of bias infection over the the real probability of interest events. Uh, I'm gonna place a bet on this one and on this one. Oh, is this one of those where the it looks at people betting, and then does the prediction off of that? Is that Odds Watch? Yeah, so, because I know that there's some people who do meta-analysis that basically look at betting pools and use the betting pools as predictors. Um, well, I mean, bet that's how betting works, right? But they take multiple pools for multiple things and try and do all this meta-analysis and figure stuff out. Um, let's see what they think Joe Biden will win. There's a 92% chance currently. That he win. I guess technically, as with Trump still after him, who knows? Wow, it they didn't. That's uh, sixty-five. Okay, so he's still above. Wait, their graph doesn't make sense. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, what? It's not dipping down. There it is. Okay, you got to be right on it. Thirty-eight percent chance. Okay. It said 60-something, like it looked like I was right here. Look at that. You see the dot down at the bottom, but it says 89% chance because it's actually floating all the way up. That's probably D3 or whatever, having a problem, but. Probably generated by betting markets bet fair six minutes ago. Yeah, okay, so that's probably what it is. Yep, there you go. Yeah, prediction markets. <laughs> but it's falling. I don't know, I suppose there's a chance, but like I I wouldn't I wouldn't bet against that. Odds watch broke. Okay. That was weird. What was the other page? Oh yeah, that page just doesn't work. Weird. Oh, this is making me nervous. Why isn't this going? Oh, come on. That should have finished. I had problems with this one before, too. Oops. Access denied. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Well, they're using S3 at least. Did I end up in some weird loop? Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, that was the full command. Try this. There you go. <laughs> I am not a betting man. Nah, do it in Vegas every now and then, but like... Oh! Score! It's working! I saw a lot of red flash by. Still saw a lot of red flash by. I'm not gonna mess with it right now though.
Oh, I've got my debugging flag on. That may be part of it. This is not processing. Crap. Can I kill it? I don't even know if I can kill it. It's got so many external processes running. There we go. Seconds remaining is still 18. It's not going down. However, all this... Maybe all this stuff's working. I don't know. This looks bad. So there's the FFmpeg command, and it throws, well here, let's just try it. Did that work? Build GCC. Uh, subtitle zero. Certainly went fast as all get out. Um, where am I? Test data. Video storage. Five. There. Okay, so it may it's pulling down the original ones. Input, blah, 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 blah. B, original, full. Output, B. So let's go look at B. Original, full, and original, chopped. Oh, but that was me running it. Probably just a second ago. Why didn't it run it? Track one codec frame size is not set. Uh, I've never seen that before. <sighs> this is a different version of FFmpeg is gonna be the problem than what I've got. Getting duration, duration 221. So we're doing that, we're doing that. Oh here, let me bounce up a little bit more. Just to get in the middle of all this junk. Starting to get chopped down. Chopped down. Here's the FFmpeg. See, I think this is... Well, no, but it just worked. So, video storage 9. There's one there. Okay. So, FFmpeg's working. What isn't working? Finish chopping down videos. Creating scene detect. Finished. It's not really finished. Oh, scene detect isn't found. There's the problem. We just installed it, though. No module found called name CDV2. What? Ah, uh, crap. Okay. I put it in a path. Because I thought that would be helpful. Turns out maybe not so helpful. Creating scene detect. We don't need to finish there. 
All right, so those should be the only two calls for scene detect. Video similar V4. Whoops. All right, all the videos are down. Maybe this will go. Still saying 18 seconds in there somewhere. Do we make scene detect files though? Uh, I'm starting to fade. We do not. Right, I just did this. Those are coming out. Not move it. All right, it's in video. Didn't update. What the hell? Because it's in video. I didn't move the right file. Website ideas. Uh, ask me again when my brain's back online. <laughs> Website ideas. Um, I got nothing. I'm tapped. I can come up with something later. I mean, not later tonight, but later in the future. But for right now, I'm just crossing my fingers because I really want to see this go. Got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, I saw an 18 in there. Yep, nope. Come on! Test data, video storage, nine, not, whoops, nine, nine. Still not making it. Hey, we got a different error. Scene detect. Module not found. Okay, so it's not doing some type of weird. It didn't import its own thing. Okay.
No module name CV. Import CV. Module if not found error. No. Mo <sighs> Is this from something else? Uh, maybe we need to do that. Pip install OpenCV Python. Is that a thing? Looks like a thing. Oops. And we're off. Scene detects working. Okay. Sorry if I yelled right in your ears. And we're encoding something. And we've got some chop down video. Running scene to tech again. Ooh, wow. That is considerably faster than my five year old computer. I didn't make a temporary directory. <sighs> did I? I did not. And I didn't make that make a temporary directory. Okay, that's that's okay. We're making progress. Slow but steady. Oh, I did some of them manually and didn't put them back in this way. That's the wrong thing again. Part of me wants to risk it and try and do a full one. That's still the wrong thing. but I'm not worried about it right now. I just made it. It's right there. Oh, did I not get made somehow? What the hell is going on now? Oh, something blew up. Could not locate the bindings file. Good lord. It's a new error. Do like an npm install. Let's 
save error, be no int, whatever that is. And it has created a lock file package. You should commit this file. Yeah, okay. Now we installed it. Oh, come on. Do I need, wait, do I have a node? I've got node. And we've got NPM, right? Find yield. There's likely an error somewhere else. This thing's worked on a Mac, but not Ubuntu. But if you try to want to investigate where people are starting to have problems on some systems, it might be a good place to start. finish this this evening. I'm not sure that's going to be in the cards. I'm not sure that is in the cards. I guess we better way to say that. Start a clip. Okay. Eight seconds remaining, so it's making progress. <sighs> yep. Fading. Fading, fading, fading. Headless GL, install. All right, let's try this.
where do we go? This doesn't work soon. I'm tapping out. It's kind of funny. I could actually fire up like five boxes really quick. And then like work on one run the script and see what happens. And then if I need to like redo stuff or reorder stuff, just completely start from scratch. System restart requiring 94. Oh, you know what? 94 updates. Um, sudo app get. Is it update or upgrade? App get upgrade. Update. Up, upgrade. Update. Down to Florida. We're still humid. Just now getting to the point of not being awful. Up get update. Okay, that's what I want. Should have been the first thing we did. Oh, we Pretty sure we did that. Yeah, it's been super humid, just kind of always is. I didn't run upgrade. No, I did. Upgrade. That's why upgrade. I probably knew that at some point. That's doing more stuff. Ocala? Yeah, I actually don't know where Ocala is. Uh, I'm up in the Jacksonville area. Um, in the upper, all the way up, upper northeast of the state. Right below Georgia, right by the water. So then I'm out. Yeah, I don't actually know where Ocala is. I've heard about it. I don't think it's that far from me. Two L's? Nope, one L. Internet's not bad. Um, like, I'm in a community that has just Comcast cable. It's not awful. Um, And I can get fiber. Uh, it's the up, actually, so, oh, everybody's in bed right now, which is why it's, normally it's like 100 and something. Um, but so 250. Uh, 
the upload speed isn't as good, but you have that. Oh, Ocal's right in the middle. Yeah, so I'm right up here in this area. Oh, it's apparently named after DeSoto. All right, so exit this, come back in. Wait a minute, did I? I'm not 100% sure. I started the virtual environment back up last time I ran this. I had to have though, right? Yeah, because request wasn't in there, so something would have bombed. Just me. Just me, just how I like it. I get to throw my crap all over the place and Nobody complains about it. And then when I'm ready to pick it up, I pick it up and I don't have to step on anybody else's crap. It's gonna be the same error, probably. Binding JS. Okay, so we're, let's do one more run at this. Is that a thing? Wife and kids? Yeah, not particularly. Um, the maybe, but not. I'm not like actively pursuing. We'll see. Future, future will tell. Who knows? Maybe the love of my life will show up. I don't know where to see her right now, right? Because <laughs> I don't leave the house because of all the plague. I gotta do. I was gonna do one other thing. Oh, I'm starting to lose it. Um, oh yeah, try this. Do we already do this? That is not the right thing to do. Okay. Uh, Dev tools, npm. Where is all my npm stuff? Wait. Oh, that was GL. I already did that. Debian notes here. What are these? What is this for? Headless GL. Okay. Just gonna grab them all. Packages and hopefully help with FFmpeg and cat.
All right, it's doing something. Okay, it's so fast. Oh. All right. You can do it. I believe in you. put a ridiculous amount of work into this, but again, I want to see it. It's a project, right? So I want to see it go. Working up the OpenGL. See, I think that's gonna maybe be it, OpenGL. It's excellent helpful when it keeps moving. I can't copy it? Come on. I'm just gonna keep throwing stuff at it. At some point, I will have a piece of software that works. Full our stream just sit there. If I wasn't already starting to hallucinate, I'd be into that. Oops, did I run it? No. Run it. See, I can't remember what I'm doing right now. That ran though, right? I think that ran. Free glute. Is that what we just installed? Free glute. It's funny, because it's right there. That is the last step. It's the concatenation of the thing. Well, then it has to overlay the audio. But like... Two more steps. You're a bad, bad computer. All right, one more look at this stuff and then I'm gonna happen out. I'm rah, 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 rah. Speaking of mumbles now, where's that OpenGL? be something stupid too like I need to reboot mm, look at all these I like all these let's do all these that's a bunch of them I like it 
Ooh, doing make and everything. Look at that. so fast like that's scarily fast of course i guess it's like a no this isn't the giant box um, actually we're gonna bounce out one more time come in clean we're gonna reboot it's six right is reboot Wait, is it six or five? <sighs> Oops. Oh, reboot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because if I actually just shut down the instance, it'll uh, kill itself. Or terminate or whatever and go away. See how long it takes to come back alive. Oh, actually, it might have a new IP address. It is running. Eighty-five twenty. 89, 85, 20. Yeah, okay. Try again. Hey, now we're gone. I just did an update. I don't know why that's not there. Alright. Last try for the night. Because I can't even type anymore. Just no, he says no. It does not like it. Actually, all right, I lied. One more thing. Yeah, might as well kill me. Or my, I'm just like, this is it. This really is the last try. But that <laughs> I do not like going to bed when things aren't where I want them to be.
Okay, I believe in you, computer. You can do it. And I believe in you, software. Europe. Not cool. This is GL. Which we installed. Wait, what's package bindings? Cannot be loaded, no bindings, there's an error. I'm telling you what exactly tried. Oh, okay, so we've got bindings, it's not finding the bindings file. Search for the node file will originate from the first directory in the package. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's all bindings. tomorrow. I just don't want to drop on the momentum of having to get my head back into this. Nobody switch. Okay. Yeah, okay, one more time. One more time. So close. Yeah, seriously, right? Downgraded the turn to the uh, Ran Pseudo NPM. Added 96 packages. Okay. Here, and let's do, let's reinstall this. Here, just do them all. See, it updated it, which is maybe a good sign.
I am asleep right now. You're a rat bastard. <sighs> yep, that's it. I'm out. Wait, is WebGL a thing? Oh, it's in GL. It's, yeah, it's the same GL thing. <sighs> Module compile. What's a CGS? All right, one more. A thing. It's a thing. So if this is something stupid like Node wasn't updated, I'm going to be really frustrated. So the downloads could be the thing that takes the longest with these. Versus my machine, like that scene to text stuff does not run that fast. So we'll see, right? It works everywhere right up until the end. Right there. That's where it crashes. Which is the last thing that needs to, like, can't, it just can't find this bindings file. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm going to try something silly just to make sure it's not something silly. What if we just paste that? Yeah, same thing. WebGL rendering context. Is 
Cloud.js. Yeah. Somehow it's not getting some piece of file that it needs. It's probably because I'm running on a headless system. But that will have to wait until not another day, but later today. That's right. Because I'm cached. Also, this box. Thank you, box, for your service. But it is... Time to go to sleep. So freaky, just like, I'm just going to murder a server. All right. <sighs> Have a good one. Wait, almost made it. Oh, I'm just, I'm so, I'm cooked. I was cooked an hour ago. Uh, but whatever. Take it easy. We'll see you around. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, I'm sure, uh, for a while at least. And then uh, hopefully can figure out how to do this and not spend hours and hours trying. But we'll see. See you.